Hi there, this is Chris Group with Aesthetic Advisor and also very excited to announce the um, launching of our product line Estheceuticals and we are going to be uh, doing a few things today with some of our product line. We have a product line that is developed for laser and IPL treatments and also we have a product line that is developed for microneedling and we also have a product line that is developed for home care. So what I'm going to be showing you today is um, a photo facial on Mackenzie um, and I'm going to be cleansing her face first with our citric cleanser which is a combination of different types of oils such as squalene, um, jojoba, pomegranate seed, and lemongrass. It is a non-foaming cleanser. So if you're gonna expect a bunch of bubbles happening around here, it's not going to. What it's great for is removing makeup, um, the grime of the day from being outside, and it doesn't strip the skin down. So it's been very, very effective in taking makeup pretty much in one try, um, but then it leaves a really nice feeling behind um, that's very, very moisturized. Now. After we clean her skin, I'm going to be doing a photo facial on her. The reason I'm doing a photo facial is more of kind of preventative of acne. Um, she doesn't have a lot of sun damage on your face, as you can see, but she does have a little bit of acne, so I'm going to be doing a photo facial. After the photo facial, I'm going to be putting on our photo facial recovery serum, which is right here. And what this is is a blend of antioxidants. A lot of you may not know this, but photofacials are wonderful for getting rid of sun damage, for rosacea, for acne. But when you use a machine, whether it be a laser or an IPL device, you create heat and light on the skin. And heat and light are actual, um, they increase the ROS levels. And you might be going, well, Chris, what the heck is an ROS? Well, it's a reactive oxygen species. Basically what we're doing is it creates more free radicals that can cause its own set of damages. So even though we're doing really great things with the photo facial, the machines that we're using to get those really great results are causing some collateral damage. Um, and again, it's an increase in free radicals. So by using an antioxidant serum, specifically mine, because I developed it, um, after the treatment, we're going to reduce the amount of ROS, therefore reducing the amount of free radicals. Now, the reason estheceuticals came into existence is I've been doing this for over 10 years and I haven't been able to find any products that work specifically with the treatments that I'm doing. Now, since I couldn't find anything, I had to go and help develop and create one myself. Um, so we have product lines for hair reduction, product lines for photofacials, and product lines for fractional treatments with lasers. Um, I've been using them over the last couple of years with my own clients, great results. And it also gives me something to retail to my clients that they can take home to continue the good benefits of their treatments. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove her makeup and then we're gonna do the photofacial and then I'm going to put on my recovery serum. So with the citric cleanser, Okay, again, we don't use a lot. I have to wear glasses because like I'm really super old. So, excuse me, I put my really sexy I'm a librarian glasses on. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit in my hand. It's got a very, very oily texture, you can see on my skin. Um, it has a really nice lemongrass scent to it, so it's kind of refreshing. But I'm just gonna work this into her skin. And for those of you that are estheticians, we all remember our esthetician fingers here um, work this into her skin and then I'm just going to remove it with a couple of four by fours that have been wet with some water and this is going to remove her makeup and get her skin ready for a photo facial you can never do a photo facial on somebody's skin if they have makeup on because the light will be attracted to the makeup and then you know it's gonna happen all that energy gets absorbed on the top of the epidermis and then you end up burning your patient uh, which is a really, really bad idea. So you wanna make sure, even if they say they've come in with no makeup on, some people don't consider powder makeup. Um, some people have tint in their moisturizer or tint in their sunblock. So you wanna make sure that all of the makeup is completely off of the skin. And sometimes mineral makeup is kinda of difficult to get rid of. And if you look, these are clean. One try, ha, who knew? Mackenzie thinks I'm really funny. 
Um, so if we look at her skin now, she's got one little mole right here that I'm going to cover up because I don't want to go over it. I don't want to go over anything that's raised. Um, but she's got a little acne lesion right there. Her skin's actually looking pretty good. We did a photo facial on her last week um, for the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her eye gear on. Um, I'm going to get my eye gear on, get my machine set up, and then we will start with our photo facial. Okay, so we are back about to do our photo facial on our client again for acne. And then we're going to be applying our Estheceuticals Photo Facial Recovery Serum after the treatment. Now, her acne, she's got just a little bit going on. It's nothing what I would say is like horrible or anything, but you know, when it's on your body and your face, it is horrible because it's you. Um, so I totally get why we want to do this. Um, we did a treatment last week. Her skin looks a lot better with acne on somebody who's very light skin. Um, I want to make sure that I can do treatments a little bit more often. If your client has a lot of sun damage, you're not going to be able to do this um, every week because you're going to pull up that sun damage. And once that brown kind of, you know, pigmentation comes to the surface, you can't do another treatment until it's gone. So I'm gonna do her test spots right now and talk to her about her pain level, okay? So we're gonna do one, two, three, and one, two, three. And on a scale of one to 10, one being, oh my gosh, make it, or one being, I don't feel anything, 10 being, oh my gosh, make it stop, where are you at? It looks like a one. Okay, so I've worked on her many, many times before. I know her skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start. I'm gonna cover up her earring. And I'm just gonna go down through the area. Now, I'm using a Palomar Max G, and I can turn up my Hertz rate, which makes it fire faster, which I'm going to do, because I'm like Ricky Bobby, I like to go fast. Never know what to do with my hands. Oh, come on, you know that's good. Actually, I do know what to do with my hands, because I'm gonna keep moving them around uh, her face. So, again, let's talk about estheceuticals. And, why we want to be using products in conjunction with our treatments. Again, when we talk about what am I doing right now, you can see the light flashing and that light is creating heat in the skin. So if the light's creating heat and heat and light along with pollution and things like that, others um, increase the free radical activity on the skin, then what we want to do is be able to reduce the amount of free radical activity on the skin. Um, and how we do that, again, with a blend of our antioxidants. So I'm going to put this on Kenzie's skin after we are done with the treatment, but I'm also going to sell her a bottle of it because over time, the higher the antioxidants levels on the skin, the better the treatment outcome is going to be. So she's going to take home a bottle of our product and every day after she gets out of the shower in the morning or after she washes her face she's going to put it on her skin let it absorb and then she's going to put her sunblock on top of it now you can also uh, use vitamin C and we've got two really great vitamin C products one that's customizable and one that's already pre-made if you didn't want to make it yourself customizable one, our Selective Strength C and S serum is really great because you can take it from 0%, which why would you do 0% vitamin C, up to 20%. So let's say your client has a little bit more sensitive skin and wants a 10% vitamin C, well, she can make it herself. And we use Ellis Orbit in our vitamin C uh, Selectable Strength serum and also our pre-made serum. And that is the most bioavailable form of vitamin C. Now, we're almost done with the bottom part of her face. How are you doing, Ken? Perfect. Again, I'm not really concerned with the pigment on her skin. She doesn't really have any. So I'm not going to go back and retreat any of the spots in the areas. But what I'm going to do is come up here on her forehead. Make sure you don't hit her hairline with this. This does do temporary hair reduction. Nobody wants to lose an eyebrow, even temporarily. Okay, I'm just 
do a little bit more down here and then we're going to wipe the skin down, get the uh, gel off, and then put our serum on. Now, our serums and our products are not machine specific, meaning you don't have to be using this IPL device, even though I think it's a great IPL device, um, you don't have to use it to use any of our products. All of our fractional um, treatment products, our hair reduction soothing serum, and our photofacial recovery serum is treatment based, not machine based which is great, and even our microneedling line, it doesn't matter if you're using a, a, a roller, an automatic microneedling pen, it doesn't matter what you're using, our microneedling line will work because it is treatment specific, not machine specific. So I'm just gonna come in here and do just a little bit on her nose, and then I'm gonna shut my machine down so it's not quite so loud. Okay, Kenzie, how are you doing? I'm great. Awesome, so I'm gonna get her goggles off and I'm just gonna get a couple of these dampened. I'm saying, oh my gosh, where did Chris go? Here he am. I gotta find my glasses. Okay, we are going to be right back and I'm gonna show you how we put our serum on. Okay, so we have finished with her photofacial, so now what I'm going to do is apply our photofacial recovery serum. Um, you don't need a lot of it. I like to shake it up a little bit first, put it in my hand. Okay, now it does have kind of a brown look to it. Um, we're gonna talk about what's in it in just a second, but it's not gonna make her face brown, okay? So we're just going to pat it into the skin and then I'm gonna ask Kenzie what she feels like, cause she's had a lot of photofacials over her short life period. Um, benefits of being in the business, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so we just pat it into the skin and we wanna let this absorb into her tissue, into um, uh, her face. And I'm gonna just pull this little hair out. So Mackenzie, how does that feel? Well, you know, after the photofacial, it's a little bit warm, and this product just, it makes it um, just a, this cooling factor, and it feels nice, and it feels moisturized, and I feel like I, you know, when I walk outside, people aren't going to be staring at this bright red face. Okay. Well, we're going to let her sit for a minute, because I want to see um, with the erythema. She's got a little bit of erythema in the acne areas, um, but it's going to start coming down a little bit. Um, and what she said is what I hear a lot from my clients is normally um, I have to ice them down after treatment and I'm not saying that you might not have to ice them down. It's going to depend on the client, what your settings are in your machine and also how aggressive of a treatment you have done. But I did a, a photo facial for rosacea on one of my clients who's been my client for about six years and we did that a couple of weeks ago. And it was the first time in six years I didn't have to ice her down for hours after the treatment. So that was pretty exciting. Um, and the only difference between the treatments previous and this one was this product. So some of the ingredients in this product, um, sea kelp. Sea kelp is a product that is found in what's called the Miracle Broth. Um, it's got very anti-inflammatory properties. It's a product that's in most of our product line because of the anti-inflammatory properties. Um, we do have niacinamide in here, uh, ferulic acid, hyaluronic acid, and all of our hyaluronic acid HAs are native hyaluronic acid. What that means, it's a long molecule. We'll talk about that in more uh, detail when I'm uh, chatting about what our esthetical line is, but it is hugely important. It's a question people don't ask is what type of hyaluronic acid is in your product? Is it native HA? or is it low molecular weight HA? And the difference is huge. Uh, what they'll do, uh, the molecular weight of a native HA, which is something like in Juvederm or Restylane, would be between one and, and one and a half million Daltons. Dalton is a molecular weight, okay? In order to penetrate the epidermis, you have to have something that's under 500 Daltons. 
So what companies do is they'll chop up the um, hyaluronic acid into little pieces, which are still too big to go into the epidermis, depending on how much they chopped it up. But research has shown that a low molecular weight hyaluronic acid can actually act as an inflammatory in the skin, which is not what we're trying to do. Um, so we've chosen at Estheceuticals to only use native HA in all of our product lines. Um, it is more expensive, but it's a better product, it's better for the skin, and that's the way that HA was intended to be in the skin is a native um, HA. So if the person that's selling you your product line doesn't know the difference, you might want to um, talk to them about what the difference is. Um, other things that we have in here is uh, green tea, glutathione, um, and then super oxide uh, dismutase, which is sod. And again, that's an anti-inflammatory. Um, when we chose to put our product line together, we really wanted to use pharmaceutical grade ingredients, but we also wanted to make sure it was at a price point that your client could purchase from you. So all of our products in through all of our lines are under hundred dollars. That includes all of our serums um, and any of our retinol products. Um, nothing is retailed over $100 and I think that's really important especially when people are really watching I mean they want to do these treatments really bad they're not going to give them up but you want to be able to sell them something that's going to help with the treatments give them a better outcome with their treatments but you also have to be a little bit cost conscious so we made sure that we kept our price points at a point that was doable um, one of the great things about using our products, um, especially with treatments, is the social couponing um, that's being done out there has really lowered the cost of treatments to um, clients. So they'll come in and they think they can get a photo facial for, you know, 30 bucks. Um, when you can retail a product to them that's going to be helpful and beneficial to them, then that allows you to also make up some of the cost of what the doing the business of the Groupon or uh, Living Social or whatever it was, um, uh, social couponing. So it gives you another option for um, to make a profit in your business, but it's not sacrificing anything that your client is doing or anything, um, they're not putting anything on their face that isn't going to be helpful with these treatments. So. If you notice, the redness, especially in through this area, is starting to reduce, and it's only been a few minutes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get her sunblock on her, um, and she is going to be ready to go with some post care. My name is Chris Group. I am with Aesthetic Advisor, but I'm also with Estheceuticals. And this was a demonstration of using our Estheceuticals Photo Facial Recovery Serum after a photo, photo facial. So thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it.